Okay, viewers, welcome to another edition of Dining with Cooks and Braggarts. There comes a time in a man's life where he must try to see whether the immaculability of his dracularization shall become unbeatable to unparalyzation. That is a time that you have to express your mandibles and make sure that sapidity enters into every comfort zone. Today, we are going to treat you to just that. Stay tuned and let your optical nerves be glued to your TV sets. Wow. What was that about? <laughs> I, I, I'm totally confused. Optical nerves, okay, that I may understand. Sapidity, modambus. I, I, where do you get these words from? Where did you get this design from? From my set designer? No, but where did you get that? From the set designer? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm, yeah. Well, where says, such verbalistic opulences are something that... Verbalistic what op <laughs> what's opulences? When your unputtenable oligarchy becomes very trepidatious, there is the need for you to excruciate your aggressivity. Yeah, I agree. What's Insatiable that? potency <laughs> leads to crocodility. <laughs> but however, I believe in opensity. Opensity. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> this is something that the ubiquitous. This one, no, this one you have won. What's the what? Ubiqu ubiquitous philanthropic concomitants. It is something that comes with your pneumatological abrasion, and that is sensationally very expensive. Wow. Okay. <laughs> On that note, I would like to thank my sponsors. <laughs> thank you to Dana Milk for uh, great tasting milk. Great tasting milk. It's um, delicious. It's high in nutrients. And uh, this is the full cream. It's a natural source of calcium and protein, vitamins and minerals. Kids can drink it. Adults can drink it. And it's absolutely affordable. So get yourself a Dano Milk. They have the semi-skimmed skimmed and then full cream absolutely delicious and of course thank you to electroland the brand owner of nasco nasco bring home happiness thank you to woodine le Create. of course i've got woodine you know in my outfit you see it very soon and then um thank you to pistis for this lovely outfit and thank you to all my hair for this uh weave you know we always got to look fresh of course, the propensity of this freshness immaculates it in um, absolutely various. No, I'm not good. You are fantastic. Thank you so much, however, for your intro. <laughs> it was amazing. And thank you to um, iTransport uh, for helping us with our commute. Now, let's delve right into it. So, Papani, what are you? Aside being an actor, what have you been up to? Like? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a serious conversation, so we are all huddled together. Uh -huh. Tell me. Mm -hmm. Well? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're an apostle? I've been acting. Okay. I've acting. been preaching. Preaching. Preacher yes. man. I've been counseling. Counseling. I've been teaching. Teaching. Yeah. Chin, chin, chin. Okay. So when did you get the I've calling? The calling has been there for a very long time. Oh, really? Exactly. During taxi driver days? Exactly. Mm. Yeah. So, okay. I completed Bible school in the year 1989. 1989. So, were you called or you as a choice? Because, you know, some people believe it's, it may be a choice or you're called. I was called. You are called. And I responded to the call. So how, how are you called? Is it like uh, there's a trumpet sound when you're sleeping and then you wake up and you're like, yes. You, you, know, you, know, you know, even salvation mm -hmm. is a mystery. Mm -hmm. No one actually understands mm -hmm. how salvation comes about. Mm -hmm. It is something between you and your God. Mm -hmm. But you feel the transformation within yes. you and that manifests. Mm -hmm. You know, the same way when the calling is there, mm -hmm. There are certain times, certain experience, man of God might see it okay. and then alert you. Okay. There are others too that it will come through prophecy. Mm -hmm. And there are at times too, through intuition. Okay. 
you know, know, like the way Saul, Paul, uh, Saul was on his way to go and persecute the church, and the Lord met him on his way to Damascus. So okay. some are very dramatic. Okay. I know of people that responded to the call after mm -hmm. a very serious accident. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so it is something that man will not understand, but it is the manifestation okay. that proves that you've really been called. How, how was yeah. yours? How were you called? Well, I was called, I've, I mean, there were prophecies here and there, okay. but I also had the intuition okay. that it was time for me to respond and to do the Lord's work. Okay. And I felt it through the pneumatological abrasion of uh -huh. the Lord. How about you? Pneumatology, pneuma <laughs> means spirit. Okay. So the Holy Spirit. Pneumatology is an aspect of Christian education. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So can you cook? Unfortunately, this is a little test because <laughs> I know how to cook any food I know how to eat. But such snacks are yeah, uh, very anachronistic Because you know, on tongue. this season, which is season four of Dining With, you're making, all my guests are making some of my favorite snacks, or should we say savory or desserts. And um, today's own, well, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. You know, some years ago I was working in Kumasi okay. and we had a white man from Britain whose favorite dish was granola soup and fufu. Wow, okay. One day he had some visitors and they said they wanted to take okra stew mm -hmm. and banku. It was a hell of a time. That is what we provide for. I had to make calls so that I will be screwed on how to prepare okra stew. Soup. Fortunately for me, when I finished, there was no running to me. That's what, well, well, we need to ask the man himself because <laughs> oh. maybe he didn't tell you. Was, oh, wow. was he was trying to be nice. Okay, so let's introduce our second guest. An all-round creative actor, producer, TV presenter, and ex-politician. We'll find out if he's still interested in uh, politics. Master Richard, Dada Boat, Mickey, or say... Back off! Oh, yo, 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 I'm about to yo, 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 Oh, well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, to you. Mm -hmm. So, are you a cook? Yes, I, I, I make good food. Oh, people always come back the I don't know who a cook is, but I can assure you I make good food. Okay. Mm. Light soup. I mean, all the soups. I mean, and uh, I can affirm that um, there is no living man who can make better lie soup than, than you. Yes. Well, sadly, on this episode, we're not making any lie soup. This no episode problem. is really about some of my favorite, uh, you know, Ghanaian snacks. Mm. So, yes, like katsu cake, you know, could be toffee, etc. Uh, so, I heard something. Uh, we know that sometimes the media, yeah. well, they can misquote true have all mm -hmm. the stuff we say. Is it true you said that if Fia Schwarzenegger should come to you on lessons to find out or um, um, so that you teach her how to cheat no I think that was misquoted Miscon yes yeah as because usual. what I was saying is that I would love to teach her some security uh, you know <laughs> tricks and well, security you know tricks. how to how to prevent things like that like how uh, you, you, you know, give us the tips I think everybody wants to know if I mean, if, I if there's if you are not sure if someone is going to come in or not. Unannounced. You need to choose your stadium uh -huh. or stadia properly. Okay. You know, you need to make sure that doors are well locked. Okay. Because you are not sure. You know, someone can just barge in. Okay. You see? And you don't have to take off 100%. You need to keep some <laughs> clothing around you so that you can escape. Hey, one. this one, yeah, this is so, like... Um, so this is, this, these were security tips that I wanted to give her, not... But you, well, basically, this is like security tips on how to how protect to prevent yourself in your comfort zone. To two times. <laughs> so, but you've been doing this. You look like a, an ex-service, you know. 
security wise, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. You've been doing this a lot. I've, eh? I've been training people uh, security. And they pass all the time. Very much, all of them. They do that they great. Do. If your mm. fear had consulted me, I don't think this that wouldn't have happened. No, not at all. Well, it won't come close. Well, maybe she didn't, because maybe she thought that you know. Well, that's a but relationship. We, we have to be security it. conscious, exactly. no matter the circumstances. Yes, that's you, know, very you don't young. need to be important. a footballer before you become a good coach. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. I, I, it's like I'm getting experts. You're the counselor. Yeah. You are counseling us on, on exactly. you know, that. certain things. I thought it was going to be Christian wise, but oh, obviously, you're telling did me. Did you don't mean that no. I, I was playing that game? That's why I know. Do that. you play that game? No, I don't think are so. Are you married? Uh, separated for now. Separated yeah. for now. Okay. Yeah. Did they catch you? Oh, no, you didn't you prepare yourself, so you now you have the you gadgets, never, you the technical catch, you know how. You can never catch me. Yeah, that good. No, no, you can never catch me. You have the technical know how, so you nobody can, can you ever can catch you. You can never catch me. Are you sure? You, 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 you think about it, you can imagine uh, some clues here and there, <laughs> some seeming evidence, but to catch me. It's not possible. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Not, not uh, under the sun. <laughs> Ever since he could hold the bat, Kofi wanted to play like his big brother. Kwame had skill that matched the best in the land. Never mind, little brother. Drink your Dano milk and keep practicing. So that's what he did. And step by step, glass by glass, the boy grew in spirit and strength, skill and determination, until one day. Drink your Dano milk and be strong. Free cooking oil fortified with vitamin A and endorsed by the Ghana Medical Association. Frital, love your food, love your life. This outfit has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Enjoy great tasting meals with Frital, the cholesterol free cooking oil fortified with vitamin A and endorsed by the Ghana Medical Association. Frital, love your food, love your life. This outfit has been vetted and approved by the FDA. It's a beautiful day I'm gonna make most of it It's a beautiful day A day to share with you You'll make my world go round Yeah, yeah, yeah really Hello, baby Hey, baby are you okay? I'm worried. How are you surviving in Ghana? Is the weather not too hot over there? <laughs> Don't worry, love. I've got myself a Nasco air conditioner and I'm chilling in Ghana. Walk into any Nasco showroom and get yourself a durable and affordable Nasco air conditioner today. Nasco air conditioners. Bring home chill and cool air. So today you're going to be making one of my favorite yeah. Ghanaian snacks, which is called sweet bat. Uh, they normally like to serve it, uh, you know, at weddings and engagements, yeah. and then of course they sell it as well. Mm. So sweet bat. And um, before we delve right into it, um, I like to first of all introduce you to the rules. 
Okay. So this is your recipe. Mm. In your corner, you're the blue corner. Mm. Yeah. And then that means everything here belongs to you, as well as your utensils are there, etc. If you want to drink, okay. um, NASCO has provided us with a great water filter okay. as well. There's some water in the NASCO fridge. And then in this corner, which is the red corner, the dangerous, a calamity, some suspicious, presumptuous place, which I know all oh, half of my words don't even hey. make any sense. Hey. <laughs> I'm trying to be like you. This is the red corner, and everything here belongs to you. So, you first of all, we in, on the show, we say that cleanliness is next to godliness. godliness. So, we would have to go and wash our hands quickly at the sink, and then when we come back, we will continue. Right. Take me to the ingredients. This flies, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, vanilla flavor. Essence. Essence. Yes. Not man. Yes, please. Margarine. Mm -hmm. This looks like sugar or uh, salt, but mm -hmm. I think it will be salt. Uh -huh. And this is Eggs. egg. Uh -huh. Oil. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this will be sugar, obviously. Yes. Then this is dano milk or water. Yes, please. And, and some water. water. Okay, so you all have the same amount of ingredients. Okay. Um, make it please. Honorable, can yes. you please walk me through it? Okay, so that's a flour. Okay. There's a margarine. Mm -hmm. There's a nutmeg. Mm -hmm. There's an essence flavor. Mm -hmm. That's salt. Mm -hmm. That's an egg. Yeah. And the Ghana's Eggs Ambassador. <laughs> yeah, Ghana's eggs, eggs yeah. ambassador. Yeah. Well, what is that? We we're trying to encourage people to eat more eggs. Okay. Because of the nutritional value. Of course. And availability ch is cheap and in cost. So okay. And then it improves health as well as improves economy through poultry yeah. farming and all that of that. That is very true. So myself and uh, Nanaba. Yeah. Because I see a lot of eggs. National ambassadors for. Okay. That's right. fantastic. So I love eggs. That's good to know. Yes. And that's oil. Yes. That's sugar. Mm -hmm. That's milk. And, and that's then a jug of water. water. Okay. okay. So that means you have the same amount of ingredients. Mm -hmm. And then... Let me check the level of this water. Oh my gosh. You have the same amount of ingredients. However, you have to give me two of your ingredients that you think that you may not need. Two. Oh, both of us? Yes, please. I may not need from the Abinkuna Bullies to the Eschatological yes, Divinity. Yes, that is it. Okay. You don't need the sugar. I don't need it. It shows... It shows you don't need a lighter, so you want to fry it. It shows my uncle. Light, light, for, light it for me. My uncle. <laughs> you need it. <laughs> my uncle. <laughs> okay. My uncle, don't disgrace me. And oh, oh, I will. So <laughs> is that is just this? Yeah, it's just this. <laughs> Yeah, you okay. 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 You? Water. You don't need water. I don't think so. Okay, so we'll just be there then. So I'll just have to take it away. But it has but to be two. You people have just said one. Can you call back for it? No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Once I take it, you can't have it back. So you have to be very sure. Mm. You have to give me two. It's not just one. Two. 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 Come on. Compulsory How do you make this? Uh, Compulsory by force. How do you do But as for the water, I protest. Because the flour cannot be dealt with incognito. I think that my uncle is the you same. You know what? I'm just going to take one since is you all said one. So you have 45 minutes to cook. And um, are you ready? Yeah, I am. Okay. So start work. So.
Honorable Mickey. Yes. You were quoted saying that you will not waste your time watching Ghanaian movies. Well, why is that? Did you say that really? And then if you did, why? Well, again, I think that... Misconstrued. Misconstrued. Okay. I didn't say Ghanaian movies. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Shelley makes Ghanaian movies. Yes. So, there are a lot of other good people, good directors, who are making great Ghanaian movies. Yeah. I said that most of them, I can't sit through because of the quality is so poor. And so you agree with what Gabby said? They don't meet, they that don't meet any standard. Yes, of course. But then again, where it's coming from is where I have the problem, problem with. Because uh, there's yes, supposed sir. to be policies to make sure that um, some of these things are checked. Mm -hmm. No, I needed a knife, but the no knife problem. is there. The I'll deal with it. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, where are these policies? Mm -hmm. What are uh, uh, so-called uh, MPs, mm -hmm. uh, parliamentarians, sitting mm -hmm. down for mm -hmm. when we know that we need to have policies mm -hmm. that can improve? the industry, not just for the benefit of the stakeholders, okay. but for the whole nation. Yes. You can only sell your culture through the media, yeah. film, and yeah. all of that. So why don't you empower that area of your economy and make as much as you can from it? By training, you know, how many of our actors go back to school to train and, learn, and learn the crafts as it's supposed to be? You know, people come to me and they say, we want to be actors, and I ask them, have you trained? Say no. And I ask them that if you go to the hospital, and then a doctor comes to have a surgery on you, and they ask him, are you a trained doctor? I say, well, I'm a doctor by talent. Would you admit him to operate on you? Well, that's, um, well, if it's a doctor, but yes, if it's a doctor, that's a, Different thing. It's a profession. But People then is it acting masters. is based on talent. Not all the time. No, listen. For me, what people get paid for is the skill, not the talent. And the skill is a combination of the talent and the mm -hmm. techniques. Mm -hmm. Are you getting my point? Mm -hmm. I am of the view that, that is we are not rating ourselves up to standards mm -hmm. because we need training. You know, appearing on screen alone, I'm not saying I'm 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 a, I'm a better actor. But I'm aspiring too. And I think that if we want to, we want to achieve success, we need to get to that level. So where did you train? <laughs> <laughs> okay. As an actor? Every brown. <laughs> where did you train? As an actor? Yes, please. Uh, I trained on the streets. Uh -huh. I trained on stage. Okay. I worked with theater groups okay. from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I had the opportunity to study directing, so okay. it affected, you know, I had a choice to do either acting or directing, mm -hmm. but I chose to do directing because I thought that could affect my acting more positively. Okay. You understand? So, so are you I'm acting doing. more these days or less? I'm producing more. You're producing more. How's acting. that going? Cool. I think I'm learning a lot. Yeah. Uncle, yeah. so how did you learn to speak like that, you know, have words that rhyme and you actually start to think you're using the right, right words, but I'm not sure. But I, I don't know if you are or not, because I, I get confused. Well, are you, are you sure? I'm, well, I know the optical nerves, I don't know about the rest. Do you know Abinkuna Bullis? Abinkuna Bullis, that is beginning. Okay. Eschatological divinity. That's the end. Oh, wow. Building an amorous kingdom. An amorous kingdom, that one I know. Yeah, so breaking the monographical virginity to his speculation. Mm -hmm. That's what that you don't. That's what I don't know. It's like presenting. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that I mean, I say. So breaking the monographical virginity to his speculation is having an intimacy with your loved one. Okay. 
Sure. So what else? So we, I heard that you're taking Ghana's actors guild to court. Exactly. Uh, what happened? Why, why did you decide to do so? Well, uh, we've all wished that the guild mm -hmm. will become very, 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 very pragmatic in their dealings. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are a president mm -hmm. of the guild mm -hmm. and you have your treasurer mm -hmm. and your secretary who should be signing checks with you, and then you decide to add two additional members of the executive, mm -hmm. which is of the constitution. For what purpose will you do that? Two, when even we were going for the by-elections, nominations were open far in advance, mm -hmm. but everything is kept in secret. Mm -hmm. Therefore, all those running for various positions are going on opposed. Where is this thing done? Mm -hmm. Another point is that during the registration, instead of allowing the treasurer and the secretary to do it by the constitution, you decided to go for an AD okay. to do it for you. So mm -hmm. there are a lot of things that needs to be put right. Okay. And that's the reason. That's the reason. Yeah. Okay. I asked you are an actor. Did you ever know there was going to be an election? I, I, I have no idea. Yes, and a lot, and many other actors don't know. Which shouldn't be the case. Every actor should know. Not every, but as many as possible should know that there's going to be an election. But are you doing this because you, it, it's possible that you may be interested in a position and because they didn't let you know? No, no, no. That is not the That's pro not that the, 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 the problem mm -hmm. at all. But are you interested in the right, position? Th that is not the problem. The right thing needs to be done. Mm -hmm. That is all. So are you are you married? I'm separated at the moment. It's so a separation party right there. Exactly. Here. So it was the right choice for you people. It was right choice. Yeah, for me and my uncle. I'm trying to. I'm far advanced in years. So I'm trying to make sure that. Are you ever going to remarry? Well, if I get someone who loves me. If you get what? Someone who loves me. Unfortunately. What, what qualities <laughs> are you looking for? <laughs> mm -hmm. You must be beautiful. You must be beautiful, ladies, wherever yes. you are. You must be beautiful. What else? Secondly, we're advertising you right here. What's the second one? You must be intelligent. You must be intelligent. You can beauty with brains helps. Third? The first one is you have, you have to have the fear of God. Fear That's of God. What is the fear of God? What is the fear of God? I think a lot of people get confused because I remember mm. that, I don't know if it's a church I went to or somewhere that I went to, somebody says that women are always asking God um, um, for a man who fears God, a God-fearing man. Who is a God-fearing man? God-fearing person is the one who is prepared to act according to the word of God. Mm -hmm. That is it. How many kids do you have? Four. Four? Oh, nice. Uh, a how girl old and three boys. Oh, how old are they? My firstborn is 30 years. 30 years. Wow. And my last boy is 90 years with two grandchildren. 19. 19. Okay. With two grandchildren. Oh, nice. Any of them actors or who want to venture into the entertainment industry? Incidentally, I've acted with all of them. Yeah, I acted no with way. the lady in Taxi Driver. Uh huh. I acted with the second born okay. in the artist. Okay. And Home Sweet Home. Okay. And Osofa was Kingdom. Okay. The third one, I acted with him in the adulties. The fourth one, he was a musician and didn't like acting. But quite recently, about a few months ago, he told me he wanted to act. And he started acting in school. So Really? So how do you, different do you think that from the days of Taxi Driver till now, the industry has changed? Do you think people are making more money? than back then or... Oh, mean? definitely, definitely. You know, uh, taxi driver just came to pave the way mm -hmm. and open doors for, for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But I believe right now there is more money in the industry than it used to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. People's standard of living are being increased to an astronomical quotient. Okay. 
<laughs> I'll get back to you again. So, Honorable. Yes, my dear. Are you an ex-politician? I've never been a politician. So, what are you? I'm a revolutionary. I mean, I... You're an assemblyman. I used to be. Now, so are you going to go back? Not as an assemblyman. But as what? Um, progression. Under which party? No political party. Okay, I have, I have a party. Okay. Though. The symbol is the elephant with an umbrella. <laughs> and PP. No, an elephant with an umbrella. Oh, that's both of them. MPP <laughs> DC. You don't want to say it, <laughs> no, no, but no. we will find out. No, I'm, I'm not into political stuff. I, I think that leadership should go beyond politics mm -hmm. because um, that is bringing everything down. Because uh, for four years, one intelligent section mm -hmm. of the society do not get the opportunity yeah. to show what they have. And I think that's bad. Yeah. So it should go beyond that. Okay. I think that whoever is a president should rather look across board and see who is fit to be where yeah. and put them there, irrespective of which political party. Okay. Because the people are denied of the knowledge of the others in opposition uh -huh. for that n number of years. If it's eight years, hey, Charlie, Whoa. be careful. Hey. Yeah. Do you think politicians right. are... Um, delusional. When I go they know, like, knowing that you wouldn't win because you see a lot of politicians who are contesting and you wonder, mm. it's obvious that you wouldn't win. But however, you still contest. Or well, there's a reason why they contest regardless of the fact that they wouldn't win. Yeah, people know, there are some, I, I must admit that there are some who know that they wouldn't win. But, you know, like I said, God works in mysterious, in ways. mysterious ways. But there are some mysteries that cannot for, be. When I contested for the assemblymanship, yeah. everybody, including myself, thought it might not be possible. I wanted to give not it a try. Manager. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I you know, it was possible. But I also yes. believed that God could make me an assemblyman at the time. You know, okay. so young, I was just about 26, 27 mm -hmm. years at the time. And I thought that I could do it. Okay. So I depended on God. and. He, he told me just one afternoon. It didn't take me too long to decide. Mm -hmm. It was just an afternoon that I decided to do it. Okay. That was even when other people were registering okay. and ready to do it. So I believe anything can happen. Okay. And I wasn't surprised. Initially, some people said, oh, you couldn't win. And somebody had covered himself with powder okay. and all of that. But you won. Yeah, after the ballots were counted. But did you lose your seat later on? I never recontested because oh, by the time... It was time for recontesting. I was out of the country. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had to go to was it was it intentional? No. Or you just weren't interested again? No, I thought that there was an opportunity to learn some more. Okay. And I am a learner. I love learning. Where did you go and learn? In the United Kingdom. I went to the US of A first to New York Film Academy. Okay. And then was there in two o five. I had half scholarship to lead Metropolitan okay. to do production and okay. directing. So I was there for close to six years. Okay. Being with my family as well. Okay. So that's what happened. So Papani, let me come back to you. Your days in radio. Do you miss it? Well, I'm still partially into it. Into yeah, it in, radio, yeah. yeah. I love those days. Okay. I actually love radio. How hard did you start? Well, I started with Nyanum Tonse. Okay. Way back. Okay. Those were the days that we had 50 minutes for sports. Okay. And you thank your stars to be given a minute to present something. Mm -hmm. So Nyanum really took me to radio. Okay. And really tutored me as well. But I left radio for some time until my nephew started doing radio. And at the point in time, mm -hmm. I was producing my nephew. Okay. On, yeah. on a show, like for a show? Yeah. yeah. Okay, on his show. Uh, okay. On his show. All right. You know, road. there is something that people don't know about my nephew. Mm -hmm. He actually 
broke the breeze into night radio. Mm -hmm. You know, most of the stations were closing around 10, at most 12. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he was asked to be playing from 12 to 4. Wow, midnight. Midnight. Yeah. And he decided to make music relevant to those nocturnal beings, especially the taxi drivers. Mm -hmm. He did it so well that within a short time, he was brought to come and take up the uh, drive time, radio gold. And I think those were the days of taxi driver. So yeah. for more than 250 days out of the 365 days, we were together. Oh, OK. Wow, well, that's a lot of time spent. And one of the very popular programs we started was Beer Warrior. Yeah, Nangabuki. Uh, yes. <laughs> Today a lot of people are doing similar things. Yeah. But I meet people who still remember remember that. that program. And I become so glad that we did a good job. Yeah. Okay. You know, those were the days that we were losing around to make sure that Ghanaians were on their toes wherever really do political, social, economically. Yeah. So that was how I entered into, you know, radio. And then I started sports program okay. when I was with Radio Go. And thereafter, I've been more into sports on radio than any other program. But has radio changed? I mean, from your time to this time? Oh, it has changed. People say that there's no discipline on radio. That is true. Some people are doing well, others too, <coughs> at all. Like you said about the acting. There is still room for improvement, but I think people are doing well. Okay. They are doing their best. Okay. Yeah, and radio is interesting. He always finds it difficult to believe that he is not no longer into radio somehow. Oh, okay. But very soon, I'll Which make sure. Which do you prefer, radio or television? Well, obviously. I would say television. Television? Yeah. Is there a particular reason or? A particular reason. Like why you prefer television I to radio? I prefer television to radio because I love and I enjoy acting. Acting. I love it. It's a passion. It's a passion. Okay. It's a passion. But you know, there are certain things I must say. Uh, my nephew actually, I stopped acting for some time mm -hmm. and went into directing. Mm -hmm. You know, then one day we met. I remember it as if it were yesterday. Around article, and he said, "We have a group that plays at TVC, mm -hmm. Royal Theatre Performance. Mm -hmm. I would like you to join us." Mm -hmm. And I joined them. So it was at this, that place that mm -hmm. we were rehearsing lower to zero. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you threw your machete at a squirrel eating palm fruits in your farm in haste, <laughs> you may miss the squirrel, lose your machete, and not be able to harvest yes. your ripe palm fruits. Yeah, I remember, I remember my line too. Yes. Kwame Dachimo. Da Kwame Dachimo. Oh, you did it together? Yeah, it was yeah. Okay. lower to zero was the script. Okay. And my role was the king. Okay. Kwame Dachimo. Okay. A snake has crawled around my neck. If I try to remove it, it will bite, bite me. me. But if I let it stay, stay. people, people might think I'm a loser. Yes. So what do I do? <laughs> and you cannot still meet throughout the meal. meal. <laughs> I expect not to be choked. Yeah. Ah, this is fantastic. Yeah, if so a boat goes downstream unchecked, it will definitely hit a patch. Mm. A woman's heart it's like tea bag. It is only in hot you, water you, that, that you see how it is. Very good. I mean, to remember <laughs> all these things, both yeah. of you are amazing. And these the, the, the over 20 years ago. Wow. Yes. We were performing at the Art Centre. You know, we started a group like that. I, I had a, a school. Mm -hmm. So I had my friends to teach. It was okay. a vacation class at school. Mm -hmm. So I had my friends to teach. And I found out that any time that we closed from the school, we hang around for two, three hours. Mm -hmm. So God gave me the direction that, why don't we put it together as a theater mm -hmm. group okay. and get some scripts to rehearse. 
So I did that and incorporated most of the teachers who were teaching at my school okay. into a, a theater group. Okay. So we were rehearsing and then we got the opportunity to do TV theater. So mm -hmm. we started basing at the GBC. Okay. You know, and then that was what, how I, I got my uncle okay. back again to join the group. And this is 95. Which one do you prefer, the radio, television? Uh, radio is medicinal to me. Okay. But I love television because I'm, I'm an actor. Okay. But, uh, you know, you can also do a lot of acting on radio too. Of course. So whichever gives me the platform and opportunity, I enjoy. <laughs> but you're now presenting. How is that going on television? Um, after hours. Yeah, I, I think that I gave myself a test and God has proved to me that if I work hard, I can do it. So how's, that um, how's the show going? I think it's doing well. It's doing great. Yeah, yes, I've seen the, the, the kinds of uh, feedback. I yeah, I think yeah, it's great. But I also listen to uh, critiques as well. Okay. Critics who come at me and like, you should do this or say, ah, you're hitting this party too much and all of that. I, I listen to all of that. But uh, at the end of the day, it's entertaining and it should remain entertaining, not yeah. political. Yeah. Give me your best, the, your best impersonation of Master Richard. I know it's spiritual. Hey, my name is Master Richard. I don't know if I want to see. Yeah, I don't know if I want to see. 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 Yeah, we're going to go for a short break. Master Richard, I'm looking for Master Richard, not. Ah, ah, oh, okay, okay, Master Richard. I see me chairman say, or to go to the one, I'm going to break. Yeah, come back and say, yeah, yeah, but you're going to go to one with you, know. We are bound for this year, and I said, "Day." We are one out here. Okay, we are coming on in church. So for a quick commercial break, when we come back, the food will be ready for us to taste. This is dining with cooks and braggarts. Ever since he could hold the bat, Kofi wanted to play like his big brother. Kwame had skill that matched the best in the land. Never mind, little brother. Drink your Dano milk and keep practicing. So that's what he did. And step by step, glass by glass, the boy grew in spirit and strength, skill and determination, until one day. Drink your Dano milk and be strong. Free cooking oil fortified with vitamin A and endorsed by the Ghana Medical Association. Frital, love your food, love your life. This advert has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Enjoy great tasting meals with Frital, the cholesterol free cooking oil fortified with vitamin A and endorsed by the Ghana Medical Association. 
Tritol. Love your food, love your life. This outfit has been vetted and approved by the FDA. It's a beautiful day. I'm gonna make most of it. It's a beautiful day. A day to share with you. You'll make my world go round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really Hello, baby. Hey, baby. Are you okay? I'm worried. How are you surviving in Ghana? Is the weather not too hot over there? Ha <laughs> ha Don't worry, love. I've got myself a NASCO air conditioner and I'm chilling in Ghana. Walk into any NASCO showroom and get yourself a durable and affordable NASCO air conditioner today. NASCO air conditioners. Bring home chill and cool air. Hi, welcome back. This is Dining with Cooks and Braggots, and it's now time for us to taste my sweet bad. But before we do that, I would like to quickly thank my sponsors. Thank you to Dana Milk for Strong Bones and Teeth. Dana Milk has a great source of calcium, proteins, vitamins, and minerals. It's good for kids, it's good for adults, and it's delicious and extremely affordable. Uh, this is the liquid milk. We have the powdered one and also the ones in sachet. So you have no excuse whatsoever. Um, thank you to Electroland, of course. Brand owner of NASCO. NASCO, bring home happiness. And thank you to Woudin Le Créateur for the materials. Uh, and then thank you to Pistis for these lovely, lovely outfits. Thank you to All My Hair for my hair. Thank you to Eye Transport as well. Uh, contact them whenever you need you know a source or form of transportation they will really take care of you great care of you um it's now time for us to taste sweet bad doesn't really look like sweet bad but hey you never know it's a taste that matters play tea <laughs> okay, please be. Please be. Please be. This is a class of this one. Yeah, It's good. So, I'm <laughs> 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 It's not like this is the best, but this is better than this. Mm. And at uh, this one too, what's in that meg? What's that here? What's in that meg? I can on the meg. I'm here for him. This is sweet bad. In the only day, plate B is the winner. My uncle. Mm. Are there winners in our home? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, there, there, there are winners here in the kitchen. Yeah. It's worrying. Yeah. Yeah. But before we go, yeah. courtesy of our sponsors, oh. um, Woodin say, I'm a person that was say, so we buy it. You know, yeah, we are very grateful. And now, sir, Woodin is a person that was so buy Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you so much. Yes, Daniel Milk said, thank you very much for coming and for participating in the show. In Tubinia Bibia, there's the notepad, uh, liquid, and then there's obviously the powdered milk and sachet ones. And I said, thank you for coming. And also, sir, that's okay. I mean, I mean, actually, I don't know. last gift. And I'm calling from Obi. Somebody with the other one in the other. Yeah, the winner gets 
a juicer from Nasco. Into Nasco, some for some other ones to sell by. And he will. You can go on and you know. Oh, the milk and the crab to me a lot of um, smoothies, smoothies in your mouth. My mom. Exactly for your mom. Yeah. So this is great. So this is from my Nasco. mom. Will love that. Also, thank you very much. Your food, your juicer is absolutely amazing. Yama uh. dear, coffee, 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 coffee. I had a free coffee, coffee, cost today, and it's me. But then, yeah, my dear, pa, into please. This is from Nasco. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much for coming. It's been, it was amazing getting to know you, uh, a legend in your own right. Thank you so much. Also, sir, thank you, and we wish you all the best in all your endeavors. This has been dining with cooks and braggarts. Thank you for watching. Take care.